You guys asked for it, Lads Army Season 1. Let's go. So what we're going to be missing 50 years ago, think about these few things. Cell phones, internet, safe spaces, hate speech. Right off the bat, there's a lot of things that anybody, even though it's an old program going to be a shocker going back 50 years let's go Lads, I'm a. <laughs> Sorry. every young man aged between 18 and 24 did two years in the army from 1947 to 1961 over two and a half million young men were called up question for you guys do you think we should have compulsory military service again not necessarily for you. Maybe you don't want to do it, but would it be good for the lads in this case? For the conscripts, it was often their first taste of discipline. Move! Come on, move yourself! For queen and country! What, what are you smiling at? Do you fancy me? Have you missed your woman already? Has anything fallen in your underpants recently? Stop <laughs> laughing! Stop laughing! Pick up your kit and your crap. And to find out if today's youth could survive a month of basic training, 30 volunteers were required. Now, what do you think? Could today's youth survive training 50 years ago? The answer is, of course they could. Would they like it? No. Being on camera gives them a forum to complain on, sure. That's what this is going to be about. It's the opportunity of a lifetime to go back in time. Main reason why I want to be a lad's army soldier. I need something to do other than sleep. Prove to the older generation that young people aren't all that bad. My dad's put me up to this. I wanted to be in the army and train for the army, but my me, me mum wouldn't let me. My God, what a collection of mama's boys. You know, they got a weird tick, or they said that his mom wouldn't let him go in the army. I mean, I suspect he's a grown-ass man, so at this point, do it, don't do it. But uh, let's keep going. Come on, quickly! What is that in your right hand? It's a football court. Will is it? Let me have a look. <laughs> Get your hands out of your pockets and I'll rip them off. Do you understand? Do you understand? Yes, sir. Don't call me, sir. I'm Corporal. That's See it again. Yes, Corporal. That's still not It's your front. Chins up everywhere. Recruit Jody Copeland has a lot to prove. Good morning, British Gas. Jody speaking. How can I help? I get shouted at every day. I work on the high level complaints team dealing with yeah. lots of angry customers. Go on, Jody. I'm quiet because my girlfriend, Michelle. Uh, said that I was a bit of a wimp. I just said to him, I go on wimp, just go for it. You always say. So they say women don't want masculine men anymore, if you listen to the media at least. She seems like she does. She says he's a wimp. He looks like a wimp, but he's be has he been trained that way culturally? That's my question for you guys. Toxic masculinity taught him to be someone he's not. I don't even know what that expression means, but anyway. Are you going to do things? Uh, he doesn't actually do it. I'd like to think that I wasn't a wimp. Um, we're going to find out soon. Are you a puff? <laughs> what? A lot of that stuff they say, he said, you a puff. That's common stuff where they're going to ask you questions that are rhetorical. Hopefully you don't say yes because they go down the path and the rabbit hole of more torture. But you know, they're going to ask you stuff if you're whatever the term is. Fill in the blank. It's not going to be a compliment. And they're just trying to give these guys a little taste. Obviously, it's not going to be like the 1950s. But I think they do a good job on this show showing some tough love to these guys and the reality is this is not safe space snowflake culture you know it's the military they're trying to help you in the event you have to do something that could put you at risk from the sleeping quarters to the washrooms everything is as it was 50 years ago it's one section's billet this is where i don't pay look at me this is where one section will live Come around, you there should be no reason whatsoever. What are you dancing for? What are you dancing for? <laughs> Do not smile at me. My name's Captain Owen. 
The aim of the next four weeks is to turn you, a greasy, long-haired, idle rabble, into professional soldiers. Now, I don't know if it was four weeks back when they did this, I guess in the 50s. Put that in the comments. Was it four weeks? Seems awfully short. Let's keep looking. Worthy of serving in the Essex Regiment. Listen in to your section corporals and your platoon staff. Is that understood? Yes, yes sir. Major! Yes, sir! Do you want any money? <laughs> Obviously not. He's coming back in a minute, Sergeant. Okay, come on. Sanford. Sanford. Sanford what? Nicky Sanford. No! Sanford Sergeant! Sa Sanford Sergeant. Don't keep waving your arms like a ballerina. <laughs> what are you playing at? <laughs> That is a problem when you get new to military. You don't understand the protocol, right? Like addressing someone by their rank. If they're enlisted by their rank. If they're an officer, sir, ma'am. And it's a process. You know, you think people would know it enough, and they're not putting them under a lot of stress, but these guys just don't get it yet, which is pretty typical for anybody who's new to the military. Webb. That's my surname, sir. What are you doing? What are you doing? Get Bell back in! Get Bell back in! The recruits will be under the control of two British Army Sergeant Majors, Richard Nuyarkis, who served in Kosovo and Bosnia, Can I tell you to move? and no Joe Murray, well a paratrooper with active service in Sierra Leone and Northern Ireland. Luna! And the other one. I'm not getting That's a common thing where, you know, lift your chin up, the other ones, they're going to pick on you because you're overweight. You look funny, you got a small chin, a big chin. They're gonna find something to pick on you about to see your response. Are you gonna cave, are you gonna look weak? And if you do, they're gonna keep picking on you till you stop looking weak. This week's we're in the sergeant's office. Now start running on the spot. Start running, get your knees up, get them up, <laughs> get them up, get them up. Now shouting again. I love this guy. I'm not getting paid, say this slates are in the sergeant's office. Now shout, I'm gonna get paid, because I'm gonna go in there and look smart in front of the sergeant. I ain't gonna get paid, say I'm gonna go in and look smart in front of the sergeant. Did your mother give you lots of sandwiches and things to eat? No, no, no. <laughs> well, it looks like she didn't, it looks like you ate everything. Did you steal food off people? No, no, no. So why are you so large? <laughs> that is a very common practice you know you could be overweight or you could be skinny and they're going to find something to pick on you about you know they're going to go around and look for people everyone gets it a lot of it's how you respond and a lot of it's just that they don't like you or the way you look they'll come up with funny anecdotal expressions that are just vicious if you watch it out of context, right? Have you guys ever experienced that in your time in the military? Or what do you think about it as a civilian? I think it's useful. Now, let's not take it in the reference of 2020. Let's look back even 10 years ago, 20 years ago. It doesn't have to be 50. But is it useful to actually tell somebody what you think without niceties? Do you fancy me? No, Corporal. You're a pifter? Definitely not, Corporal. <laughs> Definitely not. How do you know? I just know, Corporal. I'm not Corporal. You've not got those tendencies, I know. Definitely not, Corporal. Cool, cool. You're definitely not a pifter. Definitely not, Corporal. Cool. You ever look at me like a seductive blonde again? Now, I'm sure I don't know exactly what he said, puffed or whatever it is, but ah, you couldn't do that today. If you did now, I don't think he gives us two shits whether he's a puffed or whatever it is or not. And I, I know what it is, I suspect. He's just testing the guy, you know. See how he responds. I don't think he cares either, but it's just part of the training, right? Don't laugh. <laughs> don't laugh. Do not laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Do you hear me? I must not laugh on parade. I must not laugh on parade. Keep saying it. I'll tell you when to stop. I must not yeah. You guys should try that. We used to call it Roman chairs. I don't know what you guys call it in the UK. But try that at home just for an exercise. You lean against the wall, 90 degrees, so, you know, your butt's like this, your legs. Try that for a minute. It's a great workout. Your legs, you think it's super duper easy until about 45 seconds, two minutes. It's not easy. Try it. And if you've done it, put it in the comments what you think of it. It's, it's deceptively 
tough and people start shaking and fall down against the wall. It's a good, good time. Same day, child. I must not laugh on parade. I must, I must not, not laugh on parade. Get your backs, I must <laughs> Get your backs against the wall. I must not laugh on parade. Now go like that with your hands. I must not laugh on parade. Keep going. <laughs> I was... your last warning. Let's go. Mugs, China White, one. This way, mate. Nice one. Okay. What are you doing with that? Why are you holding these? Where were they? Where were they? Why are they there now? Huh? You know, I don't care if it's a cup for tea or whatever, fill in the blank. They'll do this kind of stuff. I'm not sure what the instruction was for this cup. They didn't do it right. So they're going to take the cup, break the cup, throw the cup. With the point being, follow instructions and listen. Because all these little instructions... You know, if these guys were have to go to battle or, you know, go to a gun range, right? Have artillery, demolition. They got to follow the instructions to protect themselves and everybody else involved. So that's why these little attention to detail things matter. It's like driving a car. You got to pay attention. Um, that's why there's a test, right? Oh, I swear I got caught. Go that was still good. <laughs> what are you doing? Pick it up. So maybe some of the other big guys might pick on me, but... I'm sure I'll see him off. I think there will be times he'll miss female company because he does like female company. Oh, my girlfriend Gemma bought me this little teddy. Um, and I've given her one. And it's sort of like when I'm not there, she looks to hers. And when I'm not sure if they're trying to just make these guys look weak or set the stage for the characters in this show, but that teddy situation... I don't know. He's 18. He's got a teddy bear. I I don't get it in this for this. This is going to make him look like a total wuss. And she's not there. I look to my. So it sort of reminds me of her. I hope to find out my physical and mental weaknesses, how far I can be pushed. Seemed like a nice young man. Very quiet. You know, he was in front of a camera. Maybe that's it. I think today people take a while to mature compared to... I don't know, even 20 years ago. And maybe it's specific to the person. What do you guys think? Put that in the comments. Is maturity delayed? Or is it just we see more of these people on media so we recognize it more than we did even 10, 20 years ago? Obviously, 50 years ago, people had families at probably 23, which most of these guys will be. And life expects seems different. It's just a different world. But the DNA of you and me has not changed. What do you guys think? Put it in the comments, please. Oh boy. Why are you holding that? And, right, hold your arms out. Hold your arms out to there. There we go. There we go. Let me hear it. All right, now that looks super easy, right? He's not even all the way down, but put, put your arms out and hold the linens. And it is. But a minute in, all of a sudden it gets heavy. So workout routines... You can do a lot of workout routines sitting at home. Grab a jug of milk, hold it out. Just hold it. And you think, oh, that's not going to be hard. A minute in, it gets harder. So this kind of stuff, it was amazing when I was in boot camp. The stuff they could do you thought would be easy. You know, hold your rifle out like this. How hard can that be? Well, about a, I don't know how long in, not long in, it gets heavy. You guys ever done that? And what was the easiest exercise that was deceptively miserable? Let me know. I must not laugh on parade, Corporal! In keeping with 50s military practice, the recruits are divided into two sections. Redman! Go! Yes, <laughs> quickly! Gardner! I must not laugh on parade! I must not laugh it's on parade! It's gonna be a long, hard month for the recruits. I must not laugh on parade! Didn't I say that there was a pufter somewhere <laughs> in the platoon? Did I not say it? Yes, yes Corporal! Corporal. Did you all stand there and flatly deny that you were not pufters? Yes, Corporal! <laughs> so why do you two want to sleep in the same bed? Get on the bed, lay down. Get on the bed, lay down. You, get on the bed next to him, lay down. No, 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 no. You wouldn't top and tail if you were in there, would you? <laughs> you would lay next to him, wouldn't you? Do you want to lay next to him? Oh, no, Corporal! Great. Everybody, move down one space. You! Getting the bed you're supposed to be in. You in the 19... Now, does he care if they were pufters? No. Did he tell them to stand in front of the bed, right? Probably. He said, stand in front of the bed, which would mean to you, 
stand in front of a bed you can lay in, not two people in front of one bed. And it does get confusing if you're new and you're getting screamed at because most of these guys, from the looks of it, you know, are somewhat mama's boys, never really been yelled at, right? Never been disciplined. Now someone's yelling at them, telling them what to do, and they actually have to do it. 50s, homosexuality was illegal. The trip back in time could be especially problematic for one recruit. I think my proudest achievement to date was probably uh, appearing in the hit musical uh, Fame. The fact that uh, I've danced um, is not, probably not something that I'll tell the lads in the lads' army because a uh, bit of a giveaway uh, of being gay and uh, I don't want to perceive me as being uh, particularly effeminate. People will ask, have you got a girlfriend? I mean, I think in the military, when I was in, it was still... I don't know if it was illegal, but it wasn't there, right? If it was there, people didn't talk about it. I don't think anybody cares. Don't make fun of guys that have five kids in a wife that act different, whether it's they're dancers or they like to paint. Just something. Usually you're making fun of a guy because you like him, right? So I don't think people really care even... Back then, unless it was something you were getting shoved in your face, maybe, I don't know. You know, we're t- I'm talking today, at least when I was in, you know, 30 years ago, it wasn't as much of a deal. And the people didn't talk about it. You knew people were gay, just you didn't get into the details. No one really cared enough, at least that's the way I perceived it. It's going to be coming back in a minute, so, uh, you know, keep somebody look out the window, I'm not sure. Attention! Leave your bags where they are. And get outside when I told you to form up every morning. Right, starting from you, pile in and get to your bed spaces. Join the staff. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Ready? Go! And that's true, and I guess all boot camps, they call it sections, is the training instructors, you know, they're very proud if their group of people are better at drill, PT, O course running. And I think they actually bet on it. What do you guys think? Put that in the comments, what your experience was. I know in Pugil Sticks, I swear, I saw the drill instructors exchanging money after. <laughs> we will beat them at everything. And I mean everything. What happens if I say it? We do it, Corporal! Which is the best section? One section, Corporal! Who is your best friend? I am Corporal! <laughs> Turn about. Get in. I do not want to see or hear from you until such time as you can stop laughing, be a part of this section and understand that I am training you to kill. Do you understand? Yes, yes. bro. Now, is that important what he just said? I am training you to kill. Some people think it's a little over-exaggerated, right? But you're in the military. You don't know what your job's going to be. Again, you could be a supply clerk that is called a a convoy for security. So you want to have some basic military understanding. That's what he's trying to teach him to do. It's probably going to happen, no. But it could happen in the job. And that's why they go to all this lengths and these trainings to teach people. He may be an admin clerk and never have to do a thing. But you want to be trained. At a minimum, protect yourself, troop you're with. And it's important. And it seems like a lot looking at it from the outside in. But eventually, the job, you could be at a place where people just don't want you there, right? Who is the best section? One section, One section go, go, go. <laughs> <laughs> Are you trying to get that? <laughs> <laughs> the recruits are finally left alone to get to know each other. At least the corporal's brutality is helping break the ice. All right. I wouldn't call that brutality. This guy's getting a little carried away here. I guess maybe in modern times it is. The guy told him to... You want them smiling. You put them in a little footlocker, wall locker, briefly. I don't think it's brutality. Do you guys think, think that is brutality or just, you know, a form of discipline, good training, right? Even though they know they're wrong, they'll say they're right, and there's no point in arguing. There's no point in it. And I think there's no point in trying to explain ourselves. I can't look at him. If you look at him when he's talking to you, you'll go mad. If you don't look at him when he's talking to you, he goes mad. Come on, for it. Does anyone like some Mars bar as a treat? Shall I hide it as contraband? Authentic 1950s Mars bar. I don't know what would happen if you got caught with 
junk food. The Marine Corps, they called it pogey bait. I don't think it end well. Probably not going to end well for this guy. What do you guys think is going to happen? I haven't seen it, so let's see. Good effort, guys. Good effort. Any problems? No, 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 no. You got poo in your face. <laughs> no harmful. Swallow it. Didn't I say? It? Didn't I say? It? <laughs> <laughs> I'd kill yourself now. You must have been waiting out there. Four bars. Oh dear. Fans watching you, brother. It's not fair. Thanks for watching.